Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chad of Fury 333, and we remain inside the Corbian village here. As I want to figure out how to get to that rock on the outside. And also double check that I didn't miss anything along the way. So here, there's a ladder. Aren't ladders great? They're wonderful for changing which elevation you're at. Which is always a useful skill. Is there one in here at all? There's got to be one in here. I thought I got to the roof here somehow. I haven't actually touched this in a little while, so forgive me if I forget exactly where things are. Okay. Well, that doesn't help any. I'll just kill these birds. Uh, you're just kind of annoying. You're not really all that threatening. You're just mildly annoying. And get rid of you. Because now you're going to be a pain. So let's just stop you now. There we go. Consider yourself stopped. And this does not help me either. So... I don't think I'm going to be able to find an easy way to that building. If I go around, I should be able to find something, but I think I will not easily be able to do so. Oh. Oh yeah. Oops. <laughs> Forgot about that. My stick. Let's kill the things. Dabs and slashes. And drops! There we go. That's all pretty much part of the course at this point. See, I don't see an easy way to get over there. There's a bridge up there. Maybe that'll do it. Alright, whatever. I'll keep that in mind, but now I'm curious about this bridge. We're... Okay. So I'm curious about this. Ah, of course. There'd be an ambush. You would do that. You silly birds. And no, no blood for you. You're not spitting blood or vomiting blood on me like your friend over there. That's eh, probably outside. Anyhow, let's figure out what this thing is. Slave knighthood. The cloth hood issued as slave knights, colored red to vibrantly signify their stature. Long ago, only the undead served as slave knights. Warriors used as fodder in the bleakest of battles. They, do, they grew decrepit, their skin charred black and their bones twisted. Eventually, they went outright mad, but were never relieved from duty. Because, as we all know, going mad is just kind of par for the course. You know, if you're undead, you, you just kind of go mad. It's what you do. It's not really all that unusual. There should be slave knight gauntlets. I'm just curious. Where are you? Like the one piece of, there it is. One piece of equipment that I actually care about. Okay, got on this issue of Slave Knights. The fine craftsmanship made this a symbol of honor. Everything else is the same. And that probably goes for the body piece as well. Yeah. Okay, it looks like all the, all this is the same. All the flavor text is the same. I did not want to go there. Yeah. Okay, so bit of lore. Nothing really all that meaningful. I got to be honest, it's not really all that impressive. Anyhow. That wrapped us around. Double check there's nothing I'm missing up here. Gotta be something. I'm gotta, I've gotta be missing something, because there's also that over there. What does this say? Yeah, thanks. That That's helpful. Okay, well, whatever. I'm getting obsessed with this thing. I'll probably find a path back to it later. But we have a ladder. So let's go back up the ladder. Well, we sort of had a ladder. We have this ladder. Which remains as convenient as the last time I mentioned ladders. And I'm also going the wrong way. So yeah, there's a ladder up there, and there's a bunch of stuff up there. There's a bridge up there. I want to know what's there. Because this has been established, I am both curious and apparently short in my attention span. Or at least easily distracted. But hey, I noticed something in the distance. That's something I find I don't do as often as I need to. Okay, anything gonna come out? Nope, nothing coming to get me. That would be a place that, that's a place they'd put it. Are you things? No, and that's the big knight at the bottom. Who's gonna give me a lot of experience to work. 
Oh, crap. Wow, the the time I don't look. That was... I wasn't wrong, per se. I just didn't guess which one. Ugh. Wow, that was bad. I Like, here I am being all paranoid, and yeah, I actually get taken out by the exact trap I was looking for. Idiot. Yeah, see, it's right there. Let's get a drop on it this time. <sighs> Not as graceful, but it'll work. What the heck? Okay. Feel free to stand there. I don't mind. I guess I just decided to give up. I... I impressed it enough and went, you know what? I'm willing to die. You're doing fine. And promptly did so. Hmm. It's down there. Ah, oh, it's just part of the same thing. Oh, that's the tower that I was trying to figure out what it was for. The one that seemed to have nothing in it. Which continues to seem to have nothing in it. Well, okay, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I mean, I can just go back up to that Titanite Lizard whenever I'd like. It's not a particularly hard run back. And what's over here? There's got to be something. Something or someone. Ambush? No. Ooh, a temple-like structure, I guess. It reminds me of a temple. That's what I'll call it. And also, there was a hole in here. Oh, whoa! Okay, well, I guess I can get a nice angle on things. Ooh, what can I get a nice angle? Oh, I can get a nice angle on you. I think I'll shoot you in the head. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Huh? I, maybe... Oh, man, I hope that, I, that question isn't answered sincerely. For all I know, there's, there's something they could do about it. I actually didn't really check, did I? That that was a little careless of mine, on my part. I mean, that's apparently not a concern, though. Nope, they're just they're just pissed. That's all. Nothing special. All right, cool. Let's keep going. Okay. What else is here? I mean, there's the outside. Hey, there's a gate. She did see that gate before. So... Looks like taking that's gonna be rather difficult. Deep protection! Yeah, because we've got another one of those... Knights. The Corvian Knights, they're called. But hey, it's a shortcut! Which actually also nullifies the thing I was talking about with the Titanite Lizards. Well... Wow, crap! I'll deal with you a bit. All right, all right, fine. I'll deal with you now. Sheesh. Ah, man, your timings are weird. Ugh. Ugh. Man, those things are a pain in the butt. All right, let's keep going. So there's a couple big buildings. That one I know is Corvian Knights in it. I saw from above. Oh, there was a ladder! I didn't even need to jump. That's embarrassing. I wonder if that ladder was visible from that side, because I found ladders don't seem to be consistently visible. Oh, let's see. Nice try. What the heck? Wait, what? It can still get... I, I knocked you down. Well, come on. Show yourself, then. I'm waiting.
Well, that's just perfect. Whatever, probably not important. I mean, it might contain something, I just can't do anything about it. That's weird. It's a bit of an odd detail. There's gotta be something there. It, it's not there for no reason, but I... I guess I'd have to kill the thing that's there. Hmm. Man, what's in here, then? Another knight. I think there was something else, too. I think there was another one of those. Yeah. In the rafters. Alright, so there's a couple Corvians out down there I don't want to deal with. Not at the same time, at least. Ah, if there was a way to get down to the rafters, I would think there would be, because normally, I mean, there's, there's this. Which seems like a drop path. Oh, no, that's not, that's just onto there. Doesn't do me all much good. Arr. And of course, as all, oh wait, 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 oh wow, no, there actually is a way. Ah. I might get hit up here though. Crestfallen. I really don't care about these souls. I'm kind of max level as far as I'm concerned. Ah, shoot. Like, I'm level 120. I can't really... I don't really want to go up. Ugh. I don't know how I'm supposed to fight this guy. Ow! I mean, really, I don't know what to do. Well, you know, just one, one idea comes to mind. If they're gonna stay that close to me... Oops. Okay, this is probably not a very economical strategy. Oh no, I should just need as much mana. Alright, cool, let's do this. Right, because that's healing that's using all my mana. Okay, you still there? It's always the important thing is to have a strategy. Come on. Well, I still got Wrath of the Gods and you're right below me. Oh, come on. Seriously? That's... that's just not right. Come on, I, I gotcha. I got... Uh, ah! Finally got rid of that thing. Yeah, I can take you. Especially if I get a drop on you like that. Uh, what the? I didn't want to kick. I wanted to slash. There we go. Really would have liked if kick was a separate button. Or a separate, configurably a separate button. Ooh, way of white corona. I wonder what that is. Anything back here? No, alright, let's look at the new miracle. What is this? Finally, something I care about. Way of white corona. White discus slices into foes and returns to conjurer. Ooh. A Lost Way of White Miracle launches a white discus which slices into foes and returns to its conjurer. Long ago, when the imprints left by the gods were still deep, miracles of the Way of White existed alongside Aureolas. Those who yearn for the long-lost Aureolas fully believe that they would return one day. So I get to throw spinning discs of slicing death. Well, once I attune it, obviously, but I could. I could totally do that. Ooh, and there's stuff back here, too. What's back here? A death tree! Yeah, I figured that would happen. There we go. Hey, young white branch, which... Oh, that's stealth, isn't it? I've never actually used one of those. Yeah, because that's the one I don't want to use. Yeah. So basically, you get... Yeah, you get camouflage. Or not camouflage, you get chameleon. Chameleon as an item. I never actually even noticed that. Like, you need the one for that giant. But the rest of them, no, you just, I guess, 
Yeah, you just use them whenever you'd like. They don't really make a difference to whether or not the giant in the undead settlement tries to kill you. Oh, and you're a death tree as well. Oh, and there's two of you. I think I can get you before you're done. Yeah, ow! That was rude. All right. Two, three, four. There we go. Ooh, what's in here? Wait. I know what's in there. I was just in there. Silly me. Okay. Now for looking inside here. What's inside here? Huh. I've seen your kind time and time again. Oh. Every fleeing man must be caught. Every secret must be unearthed. Such is the conceit of the self-proclaimed seeker of truth. But in the end, you lack the stomach for the agony that you'll bring upon yourself. Got a neat little blade there. I trust you've learned your lesson. <laughs> Inside the cold painting, curiosity could be your cross. I trust you've learned your lesson. The agony. It, I trust you've learned your lesson. Must be caught. Every secret must be unearthed. Such is the conceit of the self proclaimed seeker of truth. But in the end, you lack the stomach for the agony that you'll bring upon yourself. Finally! Sheesh! <sighs> yeah, I don't care about your friggin' lady. Wait, wasn't Lady Frida one- oh, Whatever, she's probably the final boss. Whatever, what did I get? I got a sword. Nonic sword, what does it do? Where'd it go? No. <sighs> ah, there it goes. Onyx blade. Which requires intelligence. Okay. Elfried, the eldest among her sisters and leader of the Sable Church, bestowed the sword to her knight. Only the sword was a farewell gift, and acceptance signified the knight's resignation from Elfried's service. And the skill enwraps it in flames, which is interesting. And also contraption key, which probably opens up something. Does it say what it opens up? Key to the contraption, accessing the library attic. Contraption to the attic, the archive found on the edge of the Corvian settlement. I wonder if that's where the bonfire is. Probably not, given that this where I am right now appears to be a library. Like this this looks like a library. Very library-ish. With the books and papers and such. And of course everyone knows a good library has someone dare to kill you for entering, requiring that you beat them in a duel to the death before you're able to read. Well, used to anyway, back in the good old days. Ah, and that would be where I use a contraption key. Whoa! I wonder if that would have killed me. Like, if I had not dodged it. Barely. Would that have killed me? I wonder. Who are you? Yeah, okay, I get it. Thanks. Hi. Why would I stop telling me I've used a contraption key? Oh, finally. I feel the scent of Hi. ash upon thee. Thou art the one of whom Uncle Gale spoke. The one to show me flame. Tis good. When this is done, may I return. The door is open thanks to thee. Tis good. I promise. 
Disco the Oh, okay. All right, and that's a shortcut. And this is another shortcut. Oh, well, kind of. Okay, this is odd. I mean, the bonfire is right there, right? So I would think, oh, I just jump in here. And then open the door. And and I do. And that's actually really simple. And I'm not sure why. Yeah. Yeah, that, that message pretty much summed it up. That was kind of pointless. Not, not really sure what that was all about. But. Fine. Whatever. Let us continue. All right, back to the Farron followers and all that crap. Ooh. No. This is different. Well, I can loop back around, so I'm going to just go up here, because what is over here, I wonder. Pointless ahead. Oh, this guy. Yeah, well, pointless for them. What about for me? Jumping required... Yeah, right. Sure. Yep, the old try jumping trick. Why are you doing that here? Anyone who's in this DLC has probably seen that millions of times by now. Alright. So that's where I was in. That's the library area. Well, the tower area I started in. This is some part of the library. Alright. Looks like I can get on top of the roof and then explore from there. And that gets me to the bridge. And that, in turn, gets me up to somewhere further up. Or not. Because the game just says no. Actually, in all likelihood, judging by the way this is laid out, I actually have to go around the other way. And that's a later shortcut. Alright, fine. Whatever. I'll deal with that. Let's see. There's enemies there. I noticed some Farron followers walking away. Or patrolling to be more precise. Hey, it's more of them. And they've notified all the friends. And you've been stabbed. Get stabbed! Ow! You hit me! Ah, uh, what the heck? Let me hit you! What is this? I can't get any hits in! This is bullshit! Man, why are they going for the... I just... Like, this is something that's bugged me since the beginning of the DLC. They're going for this multiple enemy thing through a lot of it, and it's quite annoying. I mean, thankfully, it's not as bad as it was in 2, but that's mostly because the combat system is better. And also because I'm at level 120 and fully upgraded equipment, so that does help. Yes, I will grant. Oops, no. Well. Okay, well, nothing was after me at that exact moment, so I guess we're fine. Why didn't this work? There we go. Where did he go? There you went. And now you're dead. And you. Don't think I just didn't see. Ow. Uh, how the heck is this happening? Is this because of the poise thing? I have no idea. Like, I know that poise kind of got reintroduced, as it were, or became a lot stronger, depending on who you ask. Are you a person to talk to? No, you're just here to try to kill me. Trying poorly, I might add. But yes, I realized that in the latest patch, poise was reintroduced effective. Like, people were thinking poise didn't exist, and then poise effectively got buffed or was made to exist, not really sure which. Oh, for crying out loud. Stupid auto-targeting. Anyway, yeah, so apparently it was... There was a buff there. And these enemies do have decent armor. Like, they have better... Ow! Sheesh, they have better armor than I do. So I'll grant that, but they don't seem to be that good at staying poised. So, I don't know. Ah, shoot. 
Should have seen that coming. Actually, now that I think about it, why didn't I just rest of that bonfire? There was no reason not to. Because I used up Estus Flasks fighting the knight there. Sir Vilheim. Didn't really do me a whole lot of good to just keep going, but whatever. Well, I'll keep going, because I don't really want to fight those enemies again unless I have to. I'd rather not have to. Hey, you're one of them. Oh, that should have been a backstab. But I went for a strong attack. Alright, let's be attentive. And let's be crossbow. Ah. Eh, screw it. There we go. I guess I didn't really screw it, did I? I just kept going with the crossbows. Where's that bridge? Huh. I mean, there's a bridge I spotted along the way. That's pretty much the entire point of me being here. Ah, here it is. Well, sort of. I mean, it's over this way. I have to go over the log, and then that log will take me to the bridge, which is right here. Well, that was backwards to what I expected. Guess I'll go murder this guy, then. With crossbow bolts. Because I have crossbow bolts. Ow, bad time. And now, bad time for you. I get my revenge. You inconvenience me slightly, I kill you. And I get a Titanite chunk for my efforts. Hooray for murder! As is the Dark Souls tradition. Dark Souls! Hooray for murder! So, what is past this bridge? What is in that tower? Is it a boss? Is it another person to talk to? The library has been half and half a friend- like, really, it's been a coin toss as far as friendlies go. You know, one guy tries to kill me indiscriminately, and then there's a woman who's quite nice. And now there's an elevator. Which brings me right back to that woman. Where the contraption was that would not move. Cool. We have a shortcut. Although at this point, the shortcuts in this particular DLC, they haven't been entirely impressive, gotta be honest. I mean, there's been the one shortcut with the gate, where you have to go past a Corvian Knight, which isn't exactly a useful shortcut, because Corvian Knights are a pain in the butt. And dealing with them, like, I just went around. Like, you wouldn't have seen it because I cut it out, but I just went around the other side. I went up, what, up the tower I went in the first place. Just faster. It's faster to go the long way. Because that Corvian Knight is a pain in the butt to kill. Hmm. Let me use one of these. I have so many. Might as well. Let's Ember on up. Alright. So, you... Ow. Seriously? I missed. Ah. And you get stabbed. I mean, you try. You really tried. That was a good try, good ambush, I gotta say. Full points for effort. Execution was a little off. Ow! Ah, great. Oh, didn't time it right with your teammate there. Always important to time moves like that with your teammate, otherwise it's not gonna work. You're just not going to get... I'm going to be able to dodge both. Because I just did. Alright, so... You're done. That... Was a bit of a pain. Still okay for Restus, but a bit of a pain. Ooh, a shield. I don't care. But let's find out what it is. Standard shield used by the Farron followers. Crafted with wood and reinforced with metal. Imbued with a faint resistance to the abyss. And lets me use the weapon skill of my right hand weapon. Oh, I see. I guess it's dark. I guess it's dark defense is higher. That's probably what it is. Just given the description. 
I really don't know what the dark defense normally is on shields since this character, as has been pretty obvious. If you're just joining me now, this character is built around not to be shields. Among other things, but not using shields is a big part of Ah, come on. How did I miss? But yes, using a crossbow instead of a shield, that's... Uh, that's a big part of this character. And it's worked well enough. I've beaten the game, at least. Well, the base game. Obviously still working on the DLC, as can be very clearly seen. But yeah, that is one of the big gimmicks of the game. There's a few things. I mean, use miracles, use only swords. I do have a great sword, which I haven't been using very much. That is a valid thing to use as well. I just haven't been using it very much because great swords aren't very fast, and against large groups of enemies, fast is usually the way to survive. Anyhow. I feel like up is the way to go, even if I don't find anything to kill, which I actually have. Very easily, too, because they just sort of sat there. Not very attentive. Gotta be honest, I'm not impressed. I mean, I guess I just killed you, so that basically works as... Expressing my displeasure. Ow! I'd say it expressed my displeasure just fine. Because you're dead. And I'm not. Alright, what else is up here? There's gotta be... Well, it doesn't have to be anything over here. But there is! What's trying to kill me? There's a wolf. Hi, wolf. Oh, you're cute, but now you're dead. It's cute the way you try to kill me. On your own. Despite the fact that I can two-shot you and basically don't consider you a threat in the slightest. Oh, wait. You you take three shots. Large shard, and... Oh, that was off them. Follower torch. What? Follower torch? What's the difference? Ooh! An offensive torch used by the Farron followers provides light and doubles as a weapon. Some forms of the abyss manifest as pus within the body, treated from ancient times with fire. Okay. That second paragraph. That's a big deal. Also, it breathes fire, which is kind of cool. But, pus. Remember, right at the start, I think second episode, no, third episode, it was all about goo zombies. It exploded. Well, I looked it up. The actual... They're actually called... That's something a pus. Anyway. They're like, pus of man. That's what they're called. And, I mean, I guess the name kind of implies it, since humanity's associated with the abyss and with dark. But that horse description... I mean, talk about confirming it. I mean, that definitely says, you know, that pus is darkness. In case it wasn't already obvious, I suppose. Which, like I said, kind of was, but yeah, at this point, holy crap. There you go. Some lore for you. Rather unexpected, like very, very out of the way. Mind you, I may have simply missed something earlier that pointed out that, yeah, pus comes out, or darkness is pus, pus is darkness. You're an explosive arrow shooter. I don't want to deal with you without enough Estus to be able to deal with you without dying. Actually, come to think of it, I should probably end the episode pretty soon anyway. But I want to get to the top of the mountain for... Oh, not another one, you. Is this mountain full of arrow shoot, explosive arrow shooting Viking berserkers? Because if it is, I'm probably just gonna... I'm just gonna go back. For now. There was actually another path I wanted to explore besides up here. There was not another path I wanted to explore besides up there. Okay! Well, I guess I will have to replenish my Estus and then come back here. Yeah, because that was Wolf and that was Bridge. And at least we got a shortcut. That's the important thing. We killed an NPC, kind of mini-boss NPC. We got a shortcut. I'd say that's progress. That seems like progress. Oh, no, not again. Press fall in night. What? Ow. That's it. 
Just cr Night Souls. Huh. Well. Very curious. Yeah, danger zone. Accurate. But like I said, not without Estus. So yeah, that's pretty much, that's the mountain. And the stuff I've yet to deal with on the mountain. Alright, so I think if I find a safe spot, I will call it. And then that'll be that. I don't know where to go. Now I know where to go. Alright, there we go. Found my way back. Okay, you're done. Get another chunk. Probably gonna do some upgrades in the meantime. Yeah! Are those items down there? There's some bright lights. I just wanna know. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Right, well, that was that. I hope you enjoyed that. And...